part two. We're going to try to shoot them in the same day, all three parts, because uh, it snowed here Tuesday, and now it's a beautiful day. Anyway, I wanted to show this. It's been on our bed, so I wanted, I forgot about it. It's, it's adopted uh, and scrap blocks. And uh, like, like all of these, most of these adopted blocks, I'm sorry, I don't even remember where they came from. And then I kind of wanted to do a kind of an unusual border, so I kind of make them kind of zigzag around. I thought it turned out really cute. So back to the retreat block quilts, the exchange block quilts. One year, the ladies that were putting it on had us bring um, <laughs> had us bring <laughs> we're having trouble with the wind now we come back had us uh, bring a picture and then whoever guessed the uh who it was who in their younger baby toddler years would get to uh, get the blocks. Anyway, this turned out really cute. So that was kind of fun. And then the next one, sorry, I'm going to have to come out because the wind is blowing this way. Focal fabric, of course, on this one is this floral. And as you can see, not too many people got in this one. Now this one, I have another friend that her husband gave me a lot of stuff. And one of them were some blocks that she had and then there were also these uh, blocks with the names on it so I put them all together and I really liked how I did the border on this one kind of asymmetrical plain on two sides so I was I did not in, uh, was not in this exchange block but I put those blocks together. This one is, of course, this fabric. Not too many people got in this one either. Actually, this isn't an exchange block. Sorry, this is just a, a orphan and scrap block quilt. <laughs> ah, see, I don't even remember half the time what I'm doing. I just sew and sew and sew, and I just sew 12, 12 inch squares on the back. So, this was the exchange block quilt, which I used the rest of the, my orphan blocks on it. So this was actually the exchange block quilt. And of course the focal fabric is the same fabric. And then I just put a bunch of other scraps on the back. And it's a giant one. It's it would be for a king. And I don't. I just wanted to use red and black for the setting. I like how I put Julie's together. 
together even better. The little stripe is the focal fabric. And uh, then I just put scraps on the back. So I hope you enjoyed part two. If I can catch my breath, we'll do part three.